Hillary Clinton, born October 26, 1947, Chicago, Illinois, U.S., American lawyer and politician who served as a U.S. Senator 2001 and Secretary of State 2009 in the administration of Prey, Barack Obama, she had served as First Lady 1993 during the administration of her husband, Bill Clinton, 42nd President of the United States, as the Democrat Democratic Party's nominee for president in 2016, she became the first woman to top the presidential ticket of a major party in the United States. The first president's wife born after World War II, Hillary was the eldest child of Hugh and Dorothy Rodham. She grew up in Park Ridge, Illinois, a Chicago suburb, where her father's textile business provided the family with a comfortable income. Her parents' emphasis on hard work and academic excellence set high standards. A student leader in public schools, she was active in youth programs at the First United Methodist Church, although she later became associated with liberal causes. During this time, she adhered to the Republican Party of her parents. She campaigned for Republican presidential candidate Barry Goldwater in 1964 and chaired the local chapter of the Young Republicans. A year later, after she enrolled at Wellesley College, her political views began to change, influenced by the assassinations of Malcolm X, Robert F. Kennedy, and Martin Luther King, Jr. She joined the Democratic Party and volunteered in the presidential campaign of anti-war candidate Eugene McCarthy. After her graduation from Wellesley in 1969, Hillary entered Yale Law School, where she came under the influence of Yale alumna Marion Wright Edelman, a lawyer and children's rights advocate. Through her work with Edelman, she developed a strong interest in family law and issues affecting children. Although Hillary met Bill Clinton at Yale, they took separate paths after graduation in 1973, he returned to his native Arkansas, and she worked with Edelman in Massachusetts for the Children's Defense Fund. In 1974, Hillary participated in the Watergate inquiry into the possible impeachment of Prey, Richard M. Nixon. When her assignment ended with Nixon's resignation in August 1974, she made what some people consider the crucial decision of her life, she moved to Arkansas, she taught at the University of Arkansas School of Law, and, following her marriage to Bill Clinton on October 11, 1975, she joined the prominent Rose Law Firm in Little Rock, Arkansas, where she later became a partner. In Bill's 1992 presidential campaign, Hillary played a crucial role by greeting voters, giving speeches, and serving as one of her husband's chief advisors. Her appearance with him on the television news program 60 Minutes in January 1992 made her name a household word. Responding to questions about Bill's alleged 12-year sexual relationship with an Arkansas woman, Jennifer Flowers, Bill and Hillary discussed their marital problems, and Hillary told voters to judge her husband by his record, adding that, if they did not like what they saw, then, heck, don't vote for him. With a professional career unequaled by any previous presidential candidate's wife, Hillary was heavily scrutinized. Conservatives complained that she had her own agenda, because she had worked for some liberal causes. Sworn into office on January 3, 2001, Senator Clinton continued to push for health care reform, and she remained an advocate for children. She served on several senatorial committees, including the Committee for Armed Services. Following the September 11 attacks in 2001, she supported the U.S. led invasion of Afghanistan but grew highly critical of prey, George W. Bush's handling of the Iraq War. In 2003, Hillary's much anticipated memoir of her White House years, Living History, was published and set sales records. She had received an advance of about $8 million for the book. In 2006 she was easily re-elected to the Senate. The following year Hillary announced that she would seek the Democratic Party's presidential nomination for 2008. She began the primary season as the front-runner for the nomination but placed a disappointing third in the first contest, the Iowa caucus, on January 3, 2000. In December 2008 Obama selected Clinton to serve as Secretary of State, and she was easily confirmed by the Senate in January 2009. 
Clinton's tenure as Secretary of State was widely praised for improving U.S. foreign relationships. She resigned from her post in 2013 and was replaced by former Massachusetts Senator John Kerry. Hard Choices, a memoir of her experiences as Secretary of State, was published in 2014. The following year it was revealed that she had used a private email address and server while Secretary of State, which raised concerns over both security and government transparency. The FBI eventually launched an investigation into the matter. In April 2015 Clinton announced that she was entering the U.S. presidential election race of 2016, and she immediately became the favorite to win the Democratic nomination. However, her campaign faced an unexpected challenge from Bernie Sanders, a senator who was a self-described democratic socialist. As election day neared, many polls showed Clinton with a sizable lead, and she appeared to be making inroads into traditionally Republican states. Those polls apparently had failed to capture the support enjoyed by Trump in several key Midwestern states, however, and on November 8, 2016, Clinton was defeated in her bid for the presidency. Although she won the popular vote by more than 2.8 million, she lost in the Electoral College 227 to 304. In What Happened 2017, she wrote candidly about the election and offered reasons why she lost. In May 2017 she launched Onward Together, a political group that aimed to fund and support progressive causes. Two years later she wrote, with her daughter, Chelsea, The Book of Gutsy Women, Favorite Stories of Courage and Resilience. In 2020 she became the first female Chancellor of Queen's University Belfast, Northern Ireland. The four-part documentary Hillary 2020 chronicles Clinton's life and career. In 2021 she turned to fiction writing with State of Terror, a collaboration with Canadian mystery writer Louise Penny. The geopolitical thriller centers on a female Secretary of State who races to stop a nuclear attack.